to another video of our Telerik Tips series. In this video, we will be discussing how you can export and import your Telerik App Builder project. In the first scenario, we will be using App Builder in browser client. And the first step will be user A export your project. As you can see, I'm already logged in into the platform as user A. And let's open my Sydney Airport workspace and my Sydney Airport app App Builder project. Now that the project is ready, I can right click on it, click on export, and then download it locally into my machine. Now let's move to step number two, where user B will create an empty project. Now this time I'm logged in as user B, and I'm gonna start by creating a new workspace. Let's give it a name such as demo workspace. Click on the create button and then create a app builder hybrid project under this workspace. I'm going to create a blank one, give it a project name, demo project, and then click on the create button. Let's move to step number three and user B will import this project. Back to app builder. I can right click on the project, add from archive, select the same zip file that I downloaded, and then click on the upload button. Yes. Now it will add all the files into my project. Now let's move to step number four, where user B will configure this project. Prior to that, let's check the code behind the index.html to make sure that it's not an empty project anymore, as you can see. Now let's go to the properties and make sure that your application identifier will match with your provisioning profile prior to publishing your project, as well as any other property settings. Now let's move to the second scenario where user A will start by configuring a remote repository. Under user A account, I will create a new app builder hybrid project. Instead of starting from scratch, I will clone the A-Line sample app. Click on create project. Now that my solution is ready, I can right click on it, version control, configure remote repository. And as you can see, I can either connect to GitHub using my credentials or provide a specified repository. I already created a GitHub account and from here I can start by creating a new repository. Let's give it a name such as my project and then click on the create button. At the beginning, it's empty. As you can see, I can get the URL, copy it, paste it into App Builder, and then click on the connect button. Now it's pushing all of the code into my GitHub repository. I have to provide my credentials. Remember it for the next time and then click on the OK button. Now let's go back into my GitHub repository, click refresh. And as you can see, the airline sample app has been exported successfully and all the code files behind it are now available. Now let's move to step number two and see how user A can push changes. At any time, user A can right click on this project, version control, and as you can see, the push and pull buttons are now enabled. Let's move to step number three and see how user B can create a new project and clone this repository. I'm logged in as user B. I open the demo workspace. I start by creating a new app builder hybrid project. This time I choose clone repository. Back to my GitHub repository, my project. Copy the URL and then paste it here. Give my project a name, my project, and then click on the create project button. As you can see, the project got cloned successfully from the GitHub repository. And if I go ahead and check the code behind the index.html, I will find the same copy as the one in the GitHub repository. Now the second option is via our App Builder Visual Studio extension, where I'm already logged in using my Telerik account. 
and now I'm gonna go under view team explorer and then from here I can go and click on clone paste the same github repository and then click on the clone button this is going to get a copy from the github repository into my local machine now that the process has been completed successfully I can double click on my project and then click on open this is gonna open the directory on my local machine I'm gonna change the project type to include all of them so I can see my app builder project file that I can double click now that my project is open as you can see I've got the same files as well as if I open the index.html I will get the same code behind it at any time you can right click on the project source control and then commit your changes thanks for watching another video of our telerec tips series